Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to this week's, well, to this week's weekly reset video. Now, a lot of you guys know that uh, I've decided to keep doing these videos, and I've actually decided to combine multiple videos into one. So today, we're going to be talking about the weekly item reset right over here, and we're also going to be talking about the coming soon, what's coming this Friday, and more importantly, something that popped up. Those level 160 missions that popped up. I'm actually working on a separate video where I'm going to be doing some. I'm going to be explaining what they are and what you can get from them and all that. But right now, we're just going to talk a little bit about them because a lot of people have seen them but don't really understand what's going on. And to be honest, uh, we don't really have that much information. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> no communication from Epic. But anyway, let's jump into it, guys. First of all, let me just say thank you very much for being here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for everything. You guys are fantastic. I really, really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, guys. So let's jump into the weekly items, guys. What happens in the weekly items? <clears throat> well, uh, you guys know that for a very long time there, for years, Wednesday was Wednesday evening, was our big reset day when we reset the storylines, when we reset the weekly shop, everything here. Uh, but as of late <clears throat> over the last few months the weekly shop has become very lackluster we also had because it was only for one week this is where they would introduce new weapons obviously we haven't had any new weapons in a while so that's probably also the reason for that so we've got the copper hemlock the epic one again if you like the hemlock guys it's actually a really good weapon personally for me i don't really really mess with it a lot because of the magazine size uh with my ars well this is smg actually oh this is an smg i didn't realize it was an smg <laughs> that's how little i use it uh so yeah so there you go smg smg for th eh, actually being an smg isn't bad then if you could get some really really fast reload on it it might actually be really good but you know what we might have to take a look at it i might have to do a video uh revisiting or i guess for the first time really taking a look at the hemlock and seeing if it's a weapon that i want to use with let's say my very 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 fun beetle just set up that i'm really enjoying i've actually kept it along ar around uh, because of hot mix you can believe it or not the hot mix actually made me keep that one all right so let's keep going over here we've got of course a legendary flux that i recommend you get but but you know what let's pause let's start from the beginning what do i recommend you get reaper always 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 i highly 100 percent recommend you get this reaper this is very very important whoa visual bug there uh next i recommend you get the rare perk up because you're going to be using a lot of rare perk up uh and rare perk up is not that easy to come by whoa bitch whoa those are really bad visual glitches next if you need it i recommend you get the uncommon perk up uh but most of the time for some reason uncommon perk up doesn't really go very fast uh like for me i'm still i should still be way over yeah i'm still over fifteen thousand uncommon perk up so my uncommon perk up hasn't really even moved um so yeah it's not really that usable although rare perk up like i said it, it, it does tend to use and i know you guys can't see my rare perk up because it's behind my head i apologize for that i can't really move it right now <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So uh, back to the llama shop. The next thing I recommend you get is you I recommend you get the legendary flux now because we're able to get a lot of other stuff and we're able to get stuff out of the collection book. Legendary flux is is a must have. It really, really is necessary. Uh, and finally, if you really, really, really need it, the pure drops of rain and all the evolution materials. Yes, they are good to get. The only thing that I would say, and I've said this before, I recommend not to spend your gold on it because it's so expensive. So, for example, here, the lightning in the bottle, right? We're going to be spending 400 gold, 400 gold for 40 lightning in the bottle. If you're in Twine and you can do a four times mission with lightning in the bottle or even a regular mission, you're going to be able to get that 40 lightning in the bottle relatively quickly, two or three missions, and you're going to get yourself gold. Whereas getting 400 gold takes quite a while. 400 gold takes a little bit to grind. So that's my recommendation for that. And that's it. That's it for the weekly items. All right, let's move along and talk about what is coming soon. Uh, what is coming this week, guys? And what is coming this week is, well, we got to go to our handy dandy home base status report here, which I have to say is very interesting that it does not have any information on those level 160 missions. Uh, very interesting. But anyway, so we are actually getting a chunky little update this Friday, which is the Door to Darkness Return. It's a full storyline, Willow storyline. If you haven't gotten Willow yet, recommend you get her. She's really cool. And actually the narrative storyline with her, between her and Locke and all that, it's actually really, really cool. It's a good story. It's fun. Uh, I, I enjoy, I really enjoy the storylines and the narrative uh, storylines that they have in Save the World. 
they put a lot of use to it they put a lot of really good work into it and the voice actors are fantastic all the voice actors are absolutely amazing so definitely look take a look out for that friday september 25th at 8 p.m uh eastern time you will be able to do this new storyline i love the fact uh this is always makes me laugh the stone planker twice the third most haunted hotel <laughs> you gotta wonder what the other two are oh you know what i just noticed this here i just noticed this little uh creepy ghost over here all right uh apart from that willow coming back uh she has ghoulish cackle and in the commander brook ghoulish cackle plus which increases ability damage by 37.5 percent based on the percentage of your missing health in addition to ability eliminations have 70 percent chance to conjure phantasm which seeks out nearby foes and explodes dealing 62 base energy damage in a small radius very very cool right there uh she can be really effective if you use some spammy uh, ability heroes, ability loadouts, and if you're going to be losing health. Uh, for example, here I would recommend if you want to use, if you have uh, the Gold Knock setup, putting her in Gold Knock support actually really does good because you got that 32 or 7.5 extra extra ability damage. And maybe the other one I would really commend would be uh, maybe Overtaker Hero with the Kunai build, with the Endless Kunai build, um, and maybe even Dragon Slash. Uh, yeah, Dragon Scorch, putting him on there. Uh, if you're going to be losing some damage, that extra 37.5 can do some really awesome stuff. And finally, we have both the Husk Grinder and the Dirge Song. Two weapons coming back to the event store. They're both going to be available there. Um, of course, I'll have to do a video if I can about the Husk. Well, I, I already have a video. Well, actually, you know what? I never actually released a video. I made a video about the Husk Grinder. With, I was actually quite disappointed with it. And actually, let me see if I... I, I don't know if my disappointment was so bad that I recycled the weapon. No, I didn't. Okay, let me show you guys. Uh, so, yeah. So, here it is right here. There's the husk grinder. Uh, it was not what I expected. But you know what? I might have to take a look at it. I might have to take a different look at it and, and try it out. Maybe change out these perks a little bit. See if, uh, see if it's a little different now. Especially, you know what? Especially, this could actually be a really good set of, a really good weapon. Main weapon for my... Or my uh what's it called director build director rigs build hmm? that i'm actually good uh the only problem is the attack speed that if i remember correctly that that's what really really annoyed me the fact that we only have one attack speed uh where if we had more attack speeds if we had two attack speeds it actually would have been halfway decent weapon uh but because we didn't unfortunately you know we didn't oh nature enemies all right so there that's it for that one and let's go back and take a look at the dirge song so the dirge song is going to be the other one that's going to be coming back uh i don't believe i ever actually did work on the dirge song because the dirge song is an smg um yeah actually i don't think i actually i know i have it but i know i i probably never worked on it so this is definitely going to be a weapon that i might have to take a look at it because i am on a bit of an smg and pistol kick right now uh, I'm really enjoying them. <laughs> those crit build ones, <laughs> the crit build ones with, uh, with a uh, beetle jest. They're really fun. And that's it. That is it for this week. What's coming this Friday. Finally, finally, finally. Oops. I almost, I almost ended that video right there. That would have been a mistake. Uh, finally, let me go ahead and go back. Uh, I'm not on my usual setup, so it's kind of hard to see where everything is. Uh, let's go back here and talk real quick about this. All right. Uh, so this is something that I think we were supposed to get some sort of notification about. Uh, as you guys saw, there's nothing in the patch notes. Uh, if you go to the news, there's nothing really being talked about it there. But this is actually something pretty, pretty big. Now, again, I'm not going to go into it really deep right now because I'm still doing some research on it and finding out a couple of things, including for those of you who know, uh, I still have these weekly challenges here. So I think I think I need to finish these up. Uh, because I didn't finish them up, I didn't get the other things. So I need to finish those up. And uh, I may have to reach out and ask some people to help me out and give me some screenshots. But we have level 160 four times repeated data missions. Uh, sorry, four times missions. Four man missions. We have one, two, three, and four right here. The other ones are still the 140s. Now, these are a challenge. I have heard they are quite a challenge. Uh, this one right here, this retrieve data, I actually will not get a chance to play this one today. Uh, I'm not going to have any time before it goes away, but I really, really, really wish I could have done a jail build on it and seen what happens. Actually, you know what? I might take a little bit of time and do that and see if I can get it done uh, right now that I have a chance to sit down and do this. Um, but yeah, th this is this is really, really interesting, guys. Um, these four times level 160 missions, which I've been told have smashers that go up to level 250. 
So these are definitely a little bit of a challenge. This evacuate the shelter here would be beautiful. But uh, what I might need to do is I might need to very, very late tonight when I can, I might need to sit down and play a couple of rounds and see what I can figure out here because this is really interesting. So if you guys have any experience, if you guys know any more information, please let me know down below in the comments. Uh, I do have, I went down a bit of a rabbit hole and I did, you know, investigate a lot on it. It's pretty interesting, uh, including what on the back end these missions are showing. It's definitely a challenge, but I kind of feel like this was supposed to be a part of something else. This was supposed to be a part of something else that we were going to have. And you know, guys know how in the patch notes it said at the very, very bottom that we have a new quest line coming. I think it may be explained a little bit uh, what's going on here. But if it's just a tiny little extra challenge because we are now able to go up and level, mm, I, I kind of hope it's not just that. I hope there's more going on here. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for being here. I really appreciate you all. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot. See ya.